Welcome to the Movimiento Latino show on Mega TV. I am Ricardo Castorena, your host, and I'm visited by Maria Grijalva from the National Kidney Foundation. Thank you very much, Maria, for being here. I really appreciate it. And Maria has a great story to tell, and we're going to let you share that story. So tell us how you got involved with the National Kidney Foundation. Well, I got involved through the National Kidney Foundation because uh, my kidneys had failed and uh, I needed information on kidney uh, failure. I ended up on a dialysis for one year, four hours every other day, and that was my life. Um, I was able to do it as people are able to do that right now. Dialysis is still mm -hmm. the artificial kidney that people are able to live on. But my brother was, uh, very generous in donating one of his kidneys to me and we're going on 31 years with the kidney that he donated to me. Uh, I also got myself involved with the National Kidney because even after transplantation, uh, the anti-rejection medications that were given for a lifetime, there was some side effects that I did not understand. So speaking with others regarding uh, transplant side effects, uh, just somebody else has been through this uh, disease and the transplantation, I'm able to understand more. Right. So you have really become an advocate and a spokeswoman for this organization. So you have to, t I have to ask you, even before we move on to like the contact information, you know, what, you, what do you feel about your brother, the fact that he was able to make this life-changing decision, I would say? Well... I know he's watching, so he can kind of... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am the oldest. My brother is is almost like my twin, even more so now. Uh, we're very close, and even during the time going in for surgery, I did ask him if he wanted to opt out of it. He still had a chance to opt out from the surgery, but uh, I am here because of him. I'm living my life to the fullest, and uh, so in regards to his generosity, I am sharing my time. Right and information and help to other people that need our help. Yeah, and, and when we talked offset, um, you guys mentioned that the waiting list is actually not that short, right? It's, isn't it pretty long? How long do people wait uh, to get a kidney transplant? Well, like, again, like I said, it's been 30 years, so within 30 years, fast forward, there's more people needing kidneys right. due to diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, family genetics. Um, so it's about 10, to 12 years wait wow. on the list. So that means you're on a dialysis for 10, for 10 to, 12 10 years. to 12 years. That's amazing. I'm, I'm sure that and must impact your life dramatically. Absolutely. You find well, what is the contact info? How do folks get involved? How do we get connected? Well, I always bring brochures with me. So uh, contact a National Kidney Foundation at 1-800-622-9010. And uh, they speak all kinds of languages right. to help you they have information in all different languages. So one of the one of the missions I'm assuming for you and for your brother is to really get people involved, try to make sure that they understand the message. So what can you tell someone that, especially like non-native speakers, let's say Spanish speakers or Hmong speakers, what do you say to them so that they can approach those questions, so that they can get connected? Well, again, with, with anything I say, if you're not feeling well, go to the doctor. Right. And from there, they will determine again why your ankles are swelling, why you have a throbbing, that's headache because of high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, diabetes, again, is another uh, high risk factor. So that's the general information right. is uh, those are the high risks are diabetes, high blood pressure, and... Um, well, you know, one of the things I wanted to ask you is we, know, we understand and we know that donations are really important, but do you feel those have gone up in the last couple of years or yes. are people still hesitating? And for those that are even thinking about donating, what do you say to them? How will they impact people's lives if they donate? Well, donation again uh, helps not only yourself, but hey, one of these days it might be your family, might be your child. Um, it, it reciprocates in life. Right. Uh, helping others you end up helping yourself wonderful well I want to thank you for being here I know that you know you came from pretty far away to be on our show we want to thank you for sharing your message but I don't want to I just wanted to see if there was a particular message you have for your brother since he's here and the cameras pointed 31 years later you have an anniversary coming up on a uh, 
April 15th. April 15th, which is tax season. <laughs> <laughs> He's waiting for a gift. No, I'm just kidding. We have a message for him. We always have. I always have a gift for yeah, him. I always. Bet. Always. We all celebrate. And uh, it, it's my new birthday, so that's how we celebrate. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for being here. Folks, don't change the channel. We'll be right back on Mega TV, Movimiento Latino Show. Don't change it. Thank you.